welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. My name's Kay and this is my art studio and today I'm going to be doing a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter ceramic tile. I'm going to be making a coaster um, so that I can give those to people for Christmas. Aren't they lucky? And it's just a normal little um, ceramic tile. It can be either matte or gloss finish, doesn't matter. They work just the same. And I'm just going to be doing a um, little series at the moment of um, coasters with a little flower in the center, but with a drizzle swipe in the background. So today I'm going to be using the Araldo Pink as my center. So it's a lovely little pink flower in the center or a daisy. And the colors I'm going to be using around the edge are just some of the blues, different blues that I've got, um, particularly the Araldo Metallic Brilliant Blue, which is one of my favorites, which looks beautiful with the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. So I don't want to have too many colors involved. Um, as a base, I'm just going to lay down the Araldo Metallic Rich Gold with, mixed with Light Gold. So it's just going to be my base. So I'll just pour that all around, make sure that I've covered the edges as well. Always make sure you have covered your edges to give the other paints something to roll down once um, you've spun out. So you don't have to put down a base if you're doing a drizzle, but um, when you do, it's nice because it does come through when you do any wrecking lines, that color will come through. So I'm just spreading that around, make sure I've got enough down. Now the edges are covered. So now I'm just going to hit that with the heat embossing tool, which is just one of these little heat embossing tools you can buy online. And that just helps to burst any bubbles. So next I'm going to lay down uh, just some of the blues. I just want this one to be blue and pink and apart from a little bit of gold. Um, so I'm just going to put down some of the Montmartre Cobalt Blue, which is a really pretty blue, which will look so lovely with the pink. It's a really cornstarchy sort of blue, that one to me. And then we've got the Araldo Metallic Brilliant Blue. An absolutely gorgeous colour. Just spread that around. And then the Global Cool Blue. So that's just to give a bit of contrast. And now some of the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. And I always stress that it's the Pouring Paint Gold by Montmartre, not the... Um, any of the other golds because it, it does act differently or react react differently now I'm just going to do a swipe through this with the Amsterdam oxide black so I just want that to be the width of the right width there and just spread that on the back of this spatula got black paint going everywhere as usual it's not like me is it so just spread that on the spatula there and now I'm just going to literally swipe from the top down to the bottom so just nice and light and just swiping down hopefully evenly and you can see how that Montmartre pouring paint has just come straight through it just makes the most beautiful cells and off So always just wipe off your um, spatula or whatever tools you're using as you go. And that way you're ready to be used again and you don't have to do any cleaning up other than that. Oh, I love that. Look at this gold coming through. It's beautiful, beautiful. Right, I'm just going to hit that with the uh, heat embossing tool just to burst any bubbles and also it helps to bring up any cells. Wow, that's beautiful just like that, isn't it? 
really is. It seems a shame to put the pink into the middle of it, but I'm going to. So this is the Araldo color called Pinky. Um, it's an opaque. And with that, I'm going to use the Metallic Magnolia from Araldo, which is like a color shift color. It sort of goes from pink through to purpley color. You can't really see that on camera. Now, where's my center? Hmm. I think that would be pretty close. I'm just going to put some of this pink into the center there. And a bit of the other on top, just as a contrast. There's the bubbles. So now what I'm going to do is use my bamboo chopstick. Could use the pointy end or the um, blunt end. The blunt end will give more, uh, the lines will be deeper. So I think I'll use that. Just a few little bubbles there still. I'll just burst those with the skewer here. Go away, bubbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be drawing wrecking lines, but from the center of this. So I'm going to be drawing these colors through the others. So here we go. So from the center all the way through. Always make sure you wipe your skewer between wrecks. So I'm just going to do this random-ish. Just doing some squiggly lines. And taking it through the other cells, which makes them look really pretty as well. Love it when you get this teardrop effect there. Teardrop effect. And one more. Coming through that row of cells makes it look like a little row of hearts, which is really pretty too. And now I want to draw some lines back into the center. Again, creating wrecking lines coming through all of the other cells. And one through here. And one last one through here. Okay. Now we'll just do a little spiral. I'll probably put some little black dots in the middle of that um, when I'm finished. Great. Okay, so now I'm just going to give this a gentle spin. spin one more time. Spinning is just enlarging these cells. It's not enlarging the center very much because that's um, the center of um, the centrifugal force so that won't move too much whereas the outside edges will um, expand. Rightio, oh, it's really pretty. So now, do I do some more wrecking here? I probably will. So I'll just take the pointy end. And so it's not so much wrecking actually, it's more embellishing. So I just want to bring these in a little bit more. defining the petals. I 
quite liked it before I did that too though, with the larger petals, they look nice. Okay, that's pretty, really pretty. Love that actually. So now I just want to put a little bit of, um, a few little black dots. So I'm just going to use a bit of cell activator that I've got here. It doesn't have to be cell activator, it's just that that's what I've got there. Just on the end of the skewer, I'm just going to put a little black center and a few little dots around it. Right, well that is so shimmery with that Montmartre pouring paint gold and the beautiful flower and it's got some lovely little edges there. So I'm really loving this at the moment, doing these. So you might see a few more, but it's nice and it's exciting to see different colour combinations as well. So I shall now bring you down for a close-up. So here we are coming down for the close-up of this very pretty little piece. I'm loving the shimmer I've got going on here from that um, pouring paint, Montmartre pouring paint gold. A beautiful little flower in the centre here. And where I've done the wrecking lines through here, the, it's taken a bit of colour through to the edges, a little bit of pink. And through the wrecks, and the wrecking lines are really pretty. Some very pretty cells here, lovely cells going on. Very nice. And it's very shimmery, it's hard to see. I think you can see the shimmer of the gold there um, with the beautiful flower in the centre. And that uh, flower will, um, the centre colour, the, it's got the pinky around the edge, where it's got that magnolia in the middle. The magnolia is a, um, is a metallic, so it will um, really shimmer as well. You can't pick that up on the camera there, but it will look lovely. So very happy with that one. Um, I'm going, as I say, I'm going to do a little series of these little daisies, so I guess I'll call them. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out lots of different color combos with this. So without further ado, I shall say goodbye and stay safe until I see you back here again in the not too distant future. Bye bye. <music>